Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And tonight we have the newest Atari games. They are brand new, never before seen, Both? never before even posted in yeah! the Atari Age forums. That's so exciting. It is very exciting. Mm. Um, they are from well-known uh, makers of Homebrew as well. They are two Atari 2600 games. The first one is Razor's Edge. Uh, an exclusive world premiere from Red Button Games, who is Leonardo Santiago, mm -hmm. uh, who did games such as Cajo Chases a Cheese and uh, Unholy. Nice. Yeah, meow. Mm. <laughs> and the second game is Uzi the Goo, Maze Quest. And this is by Vladimir Zuniga, mm. VHZC from VHZC Games. Welcome everybody to the show. Mm -hmm. We do have colored lights. Yes. And we woke up the Atari. <laughs> yes. Oh, poor sleepy Atari. Oh, sweetie cat. <laughs> I've barely said hello to him since I got home from oh, work. So rushing, rushing. Oh, rushing. I know, I know. Um, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show, and I'll say them as quickly as possible. Abit Swami, Alan the Farm, Scar Coder, Atari, BR Poke Up, Buck Owens, Captain Man, Tootie Chance, Charles, Charles and Check, Charles Wheel and Chai Five, Danny VC, Dr. Mook has Emmy Dan, Mutt Fox, Mulder, Glenn, Main, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC, Carl G, Keith Kelly, Crocko, Lauren T D Z, Marco Yanis, Mark's Basic, Mick Muse, Mike Saul, Mike Lytel, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarn, Whoop, Mr. Fix, Nathan Storm, Neo Media, Op Vocal, Aaron Deco, Pack Rat, Quahog, R Anschwitz, R Seventy, Randy Ghost, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pin, Marod Catzler, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Spartan, Spice Wares, Esmer, the D Train, Walsh, Man, Tiki Dan, KTM Events, Trek MD, Victor MX Ken X. I can't do it in one breath. No <laughs> chance. And VHZC <clears throat> is in the chat mm -hmm. today. So if you have any questions or praise, <laughs> he will be there to accept both of those. Well, at least praise. You don't yeah. have to answer praise, but hopefully he'll answer some questions. If you want your name there, just click on subscribe. It's free with, Am with Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. Just link them And together. Leo's here too. And Leo's there too. Yay. We have both the developers in the Excellent. chat. So if you have questions, um, as a matter of fact, there is a night in yeah. this game. Excellent. I'm uh, sure we will see all the hallmarks of VHZC games yeah. in the new one. Yeah. Um, what are they? There's Skulls. Um, there's Pong. Mm -hmm. um, there's slidey, slammy, squishing things that smack you when you try and get across them. Um, lots of other things. Okay. We will point them out we'll as point we them go. We'll point them out as we go, yeah. The VH said uh, cinematic universe. The crossover, <laughs> crossover potential is off the charts. Night bear <laughs> at night. It's just black. It's just all black. Um, so, let's see. So we got some news. Let's go to the news. Uh, is that going to work? Yeah, that's going to work. The ABBUC Software Contest 2022 is open right now. This is 8-bit uh, software. So if you're a developer for 8-bit software, it, they churn out some pretty good stuff in the uh, ABBUC software mm -hmm. abac. I don't know. I'll say ABBUC <laughs> uh, contest. So the deadline is July 31st. If you want to get your software in there, it is a private magazine, I would say. Uh, for 8-bit Atari mm. users, and they have contests, and they distribute software packages. Oh, with when, the games with, in them? With the games in them, with the magazine, and you have to have a subscription, then you get the games, oh. and eventually the games do come out. Nice. But you get You get them early. Yeah, early. Um, That's nice. If you are a subscriber of yeah. the magazine. So very, very cool. Um, so that is happening. So mm. get those games in. Uh, Argon, I should have done this last episode, but I missed it. Uh, Argon now has support for, speaking of 8-bit games, Atari 8-bit support is now in Argon, which you can play on your phone or your tablet mm. or various other devices. So uh, there you go. Another emulator for 8-bit games, another mm -hmm. option, and you can play it on the go. Uh, and it's now downloadable for the public cat. <laughs> For the public, for the cat. public cat, yes. Uh, public beta on Google Play. <laughs> what and, are you doing over there? And uh, look at that. Support for folding devices, such as what? Microsoft Surface Duo, oh, Samsung it's Fold, a Samsung Flip. So the bottom is your controls, and the top oh, is you can play you on it. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. that. Is that's neat. Super cool. So mm -hmm. you can utilize different form factors there. Nice. Um, 
Oh, yes. What, you, also, what does this guy have to? He is out of control. <laughs> he is out of control. He is out of control. Mm -hmm. um, I've been trying to troubleshoot uh, an issue that I've had since the start of broadcasting this show. Mm -hmm. Um. This show is a fairly edge case show for the issue that I'm having. Okay. And it's to do with the Atari 2600, which I play most of the games on. Mm -hmm. And it is to do with flickering. And 2600, you can use, utilize flicker to create more sprites. Okay. Uh, systems after the 2600 use this as well. You can see mm -hmm. it in a lot of NES games, especially mm -hmm. if you watch NES games on YouTube and they aren't recording in 60 frames a second, mm -hmm. things will disappear. Mm. And the same would happen if I only broadcast at 30 frames a second as well. Half the things were gone. Um, my gamers removed from Argon list, and guess it was because it was the Homebrew Rewards group. Oh, well, contact them again and get them to put it back in the regular group, because I'm sure mm. they will put it back. Um, so I've been struggling with this since the beginning, because it's not perfect, my setup for getting all 60 frames. It will drop frames and it will repeat frames hmm. one after the other. Okay. So hmm. there's no reason to drop a frame and skip over it and then repeat one later to catch up. Hmm. It's like doing two things at once. So I have extensively um, posted about this in my club, the Zero Page Homebrew Club. Um, let me find that so I can post the link and if anybody has any suggestions of what further things I can troubleshoot with this if you know anything about video capture or um, translating video to computers or frame rate you're an expert a little bit on frame rate uh, Thomas Yench and Revenge have been helping me mm. kind of work my way through it and <clears throat> check things um, but I will post the link in the chat. And if anybody has any other suggestions, let me just get it here. Uh, it's not on the screen right now. So. I know that. Oh, okay. Okay. I was just trying to get it. So there's me with a glass of wine and a cat. There we yes, go. Atari. So yeah, the Atari 2600 broadcasts at 59.92 frames per second. Okay. Normal NTSC is 59.94 frames per second. Okay. It's just a little <laughs> off. And there's a lot of devices that capture at exactly 60 and exactly 59.94 because those are both standards. Okay. Um, and 29.97 interlaced. So it's it's having some trouble dropping frames. But anyway, read through it. It's this extensive extensive information that I have posted with screenshots and CPU mm -hmm. utilization, GPU. But I, let me show you what I mean so you can get an idea. Okay, so here is the Harmony mm. menu. And when we look at it on, on the TV, it looks absolutely perfect. Mm. I mean, you can't see it. But no, no, no. We I, don't I need know. to switch over. Yeah, no. It looks rock steady. Yeah. Like a CRT. Like perfect 60 frames a second. Flip, 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 flip. Yeah. And so I know, and that's coming out of the upscaler. So I know the upscaler is doing an awesome job. Um, but as you can see on your screens, it's like, uh, 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 yeah. anytime it's doing that kind of shimmer, it is doubling frames up mm. or dropping a frame. So mm. that's, anyway, that's the troubleshoot I'm trying to do. Probably not interesting for 99% of the people watching, but that 1% that might know the answer, <laughs> please, please post in the forums or get a hold and of me. And if you interpret those flashes as any form of code... <laughs> it's not. It's, it's Atari <laughs> please, screaming please for help. Please place your translation into the chat. Yeah. No, yeah. Please <laughs> yeah. rescue me. Atari help. saying, give me treats, give me <laughs> yeah, treats. Yeah, more likely treats. give me treats. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that is the end of the news. Ah, speaking of mining Bitcoin. Mining Bitcoin. I am mining Bitcoin with the flashes. Yep. Only give them a couple. Only a couple. Like a couple. Okay. Yeah. We won't. Atari, Atari is having asthma issues. Yeah. So uh, we've taken them off dry food to try and figure that out. No, that's too many. No, no, this like is fine. Like three. 
Like no, three. I'm not giving him three. Here, five. 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 Negotiations. Yeah. Uh, he needs at least a few. He'd be so upset if he didn't at least get <laughs> He would attack us for he only would. three. Yeah. He'd be like, three? No, 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 no. No. We want more. We demand more. <laughs> we are going on strike. Unionize. Yeah. <laughs> Atari's going to unionize. A union of one. Yeah. Of course, he's the only cat in the house, and we would miss him if he went on yeah. strike. Well, there's He'd only like, one vote to, to, to cast. Throw it over here. They can't see a thing. Oh, is he running off the screen? Yeah. It's only I just this. like him to move a little bit. Well, throw it around here. Yeah. Otherwise, they can't see He anything. comes back. You see him ding it. <laughs> the ding is the interesting part. Ding. There we go. Chomp, <laughs> chomp, 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 chomp. Yum, 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 yum. Mm -hmm. I was uh, testing that out before the show and getting volume levels, and... Mm -hmm. I could hear him running down the stairs when I was testing it. Oh, the ding noise? Yeah. Oh, that is so funny. He knows. The cat yeah. came back. He always comes back. <laughs> he does. Okay, this is your last one. This last is your one. last one. Ding it. Ding it. Ding it. Oh, <laughs> oh he's looking at tilted. me. Tilted. Won't you just give it to me? Ding it. <laughs> Good kitty. <laughs> he's like, yeah, 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 whatever, ding. All right. I know what to do. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> so it's Atari 2600 Day. Woo! So let's get that up there. Um, and thank you, Tanya, for the lights that you purchased. Oh, Great yes. Great idea. Yeah. They're now permanently up there. They were falling down, but we got double-sided sticky tape yeah, up there. Yeah, better adhesive. It is it up not there. moving anymore. Good. Excellent. Yeah. It is very, yeah, very Yeah, it kept solid. falling down. So. <laughs> yep. And, and, um... Uh, it comes, it's beautiful, uh, multicolor LEDs, oh, actually, range of colors. I may try to color coordinate as we play games. Just And we're probably going to put a little black strip along there so you can't actually see the lights. We're thinking you, about that. Maybe. Yeah. It's just a it's little, it's cool a little bright. It is, it is cool. Yeah. I it's don't like, know. We're still, you know. I do have a package. Mm. Um, I forgot about that. Oh. Let's open it up. Mail? Mail Mail. And the Jaguar, Jaguar update, it is in Canada now. Mm. Let me just do a check right now. It's not uh, held up at the border? Uh, no, it crossed the border. Excellent. Customs, Customs cleared. Customs cleared. It's in Toronto. Okay, so they deemed it wasn't a bomb, nope. so that's good. Yeah, they thought it was, it was okay. <laughs> they opened it up, threw it on the ground, smashed it open. <laughs> found nothing inside <laughs> so they're, they're they think it's pretty good <laughs> yes fools says rc70 <laughs> deceived so i got legend taito legends 2 mm -hmm. for the playstation 2 yeah and i got this because let's see the games on it uh darius gaiden very cool shooter mm -hmm. um what else what else did i get it for mm -hmm. Kicks, that's cool. Raston 2, uh, that's about it. Space Invaders DX, there's there's some other cool games that I need to try on this as well. Ooh, Liquid, Liquid Kids looks cool. Puzzle Bobble, that's fun I too. I always like Puzzle Shooting Bobble. Puzzle Bobble. Yep. Little balls at the top. We can mm -hmm. see the LEDs, not only the light. Yeah, yeah I, I've kind of positioned it so you can see the, the LEDs as well. Just... Yeah. just along but the top but that's why we're thinking of a little edge because because of the angle of the camera we can't really lift the camera up to hide it so yeah we might put an edge on it so it hides the leds but maybe i kind of like the LEDs. i like it both ways yeah. feels very carnival-y <laughs> it does <laughs> and we can customize the color yeah to match the game yeah that's what I was saying, yeah. Um, so let's play the first game, which is Razor's Edge. Mm. Now, very little uh, has There's been no... revealed about this game. Okay. They have posted some things, no screenshots or really what it's about mm. on um, Red Button Games uh, social media mm -hmm. accounts. Mm -hmm. They did a teaser video that kind of gave a little bit of the story, but not even really what it's about still. And some pictures of the name of the game. Mm. Uh, but so this is going to be the world exclusive premiere of this game. Um, I don't have a PS2. I have a PS3, actually. So I can play PS3, 2, and 1 on it. Mm. And it's the big fat one that actually has the hardware for PS2 and PS1 in it. Mm. After that, they had emulation of PS2 and PS1. So it's the most compatible and the highest quality one. 
Um, this is a 16K F6 game. Other games by Leonardo Santiago are <laughs> Egypt Quest. He's been doing that lately. I, he wants to play. Cajo Chases the <laughs> Cheese, uh, Razor's Hi. Edge, and Unholy. Uh, Leonardo Santiago is the winner of three Atari Homebrew oh, Awards. Oh, excellent. Uh, 2600 Homebrew Completed Original Graphics for Unholy. 2600 Homebrew Completed Original Music and Sound for Unholy. And Atari 2600 Best Homebrew 4K and Under for Keijo Chases the Cheese. Mm -hmm. um, so let's get to it. And do the big reveal. Here we go. So go down to today's date. Are you ready? Are you ready, everyone? Yeah. Everyone? Click once. Okay, ready. Drum roll. Hit it. And there's their logo. Oh, gone. Razor's Edge. <laughs> so I have the instructions here. Okay. Uh, mm. Hi, James and everyone. This is Leonardo Santiago, developer of the ga of games Unholy, Cajo Chases the Cheese, and the latest, Razor's Edge. Mm. He, he has uh, forsaken his other game, I guess. He didn't, <laughs> I don't think he finished that one. Uh, whenever I develop my games, I try to create something that pleases me and that makes me play several times. Mm. Even after dozens of tests and bug fixes, I try to create unique well elements and characters, thus leaving my mark on them, trying to create a new experience for the player. Looking for this new experience at the end of 2020 between one draft and another, I tried. I started a prototype of what would become Razor's Edge. Mm -hmm. uh, the prototype was a simple beat-em-up style game with Batari mm -hmm. Basic. So go for it. Stage one. Nice. Fight! So... The game's base and dynamics were good, needing to improve the sprites and create more levels. Actually, oh. I'll show you how to tell you how to play. Use the joystick to move the character to all sides. Red button, alternate punches. Red button and up, jump kick. Try a jump kick, there you go. And red button and down, defense. Nice, oh. defeated your first guy. Uh, the game's base and dynamics mm. were good, needing to improve the sprites and create more levels where the main character could venture. So I ended up realizing the limitations imposed by the colonel and didn't give me much choice. Not being happy with the limitations and with the little I had learned about assembly while trying to squeeze Cajo Chases the Cheese codes to fit in just four kilobytes, I decided to dive deep into assembly and create my own kernel so that the game could be the way I imagined. Uh, after a few weeks of study and thanks to rich tutorials by Andrew Davey, Sterile Spice Jr., numerous tips on Atari Age forums, and all the material divided by, uh, provided by Dwayne Hahn, Random Terrain, on his website, I was able to create the main kernel of the game. To make programming easier, I continued using Basic for Logic, calling my kernel to draw the elements and some custom functions that helped me in the process. So, awesome skyline with a nice blue gradiated. Oh, go to the next screen. Uh, and a nice brick wall. And great sidewalk. And yeah, really good colors. Mike's all says, awesome color design. Arenafoot says, looks Ooh. like the arcade game Narc. Oh, he's a tough guy. Look at his muscles. He skipped leg day. Ah! Right? He did. <laughs> it's, all, <laughs> it's all upper body for him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, so your uh, health is on the left. The hearts. And the hearts is how many lives you have left. Oh, maybe. Let's see when you get hit. Yeah, your yeah. your health went down, but you still have two lives. Mm. And their health is on the right. And there's a zero in the middle, which is still zero. And there's a gray counter. I'm guessing that goes down as you defeat enemies. Let's see. After you get rid of this guy. Oh, that's hard. Meathead guy. Oh. No, the gray didn't go down. Hmm. Okay. Mm. With almost all the logic ready, I thought the game deserved a good soundtrack because I didn't have any uh, have the necessary musical knowledge. I asked my friend Leandro Cam Camera, Rally Racer, and Zark Star Saga for help. 
who majestically indicated the path to take, allowing me to compose my own tracks. That is, he didn't give me the fish, he taught me to fish. Practicing your moves? <laughs> oh, watch the gray bar as you go to the next screen. Maybe. She alternates. Do you Punch see? High and low. <clears throat> yep. She's got a ponytail. Very practical for fighting. Very practical. Yep. Some gray shoes. Uh, pink mini skirt. Um, crop top. Very 80s. I like it. Phaser Cat Games says, I think this is already better than 2600 Double <laughs> Dragon. Did Double Dragon have two or one enemies in the 2600 version at once? It's released by Activision, so I'm guessing it was just one enemy at a time. Uh, Nostalgic says, definitely surprised to see a new brawler on the 2600. Uh, the zero is the continues, Leo. Uh, Santiago says. Uh, another important help that I had along the way uh, was the suggestions and tests of my friend Luciano Clement. Oh, got oh. Me. And we're down a heart. No. Yep, down a heart now. Another passionate uh, about consoles and old computers like the Atari 2600, Odyssey 2, MSX Computer, and Sega Master System. All systems that were very successful here in Brazil in the 80s. Finally, I needed a great illusion to compo compose all the material. I left that to my friend Claudia uh, Maria, responsible for the illustrations of the main character and some elements that make up the graphic material. And she did, as she did with the game, Keijo Chases a Cheese. Today, the game is done as well as the graphical mat graphic material. There will be 60 copies at first, so everyone who wants it, please send an email to contact at redbuttongames.com.br with Razor's Edge as the subject. The game comes with a poster. Oh, the gr gray bar does go up. Uh, game comes with a poster, and there's a possibility to purchase a t-shirt separately. After more than one year of development, I ask that I ask you, James, to announce the official release and to introduce the game Razor's Edge to the public. Uh, and then there was the moves. So we're doing pretty good. Double Dragon had two enemies. I tried to create an easy Double Dragon. So did Double Dragon keep the enemies separate on the screen so you had to go down to one? Because I know Activision was very particular about no flicker. And having you and two enemies on the same line would introduce flicker. Oh, yeah, I have some, some notes. Um, so I went through 2600 classic games looking for beat-em-ups. And like everybody's mentioning, Double Dragon was... Uh, one of the beat-em-ups for the 2600. Kung Fu Master qualifies as a beat-em-up, because things are coming at you side to side, um, and you are moving. And also Chuck Norris Super Kicks was listed as a beat-em-up as well, mm. which it is. You have screens like this, single screens, you beat them up, and you move forward. Mm -hmm. But when you move forward in that game, it goes to an overview, and then you go to the next enemy, and then it goes to a, a single screen as well. Hey, steps. Try to vary the moves, Leo says. I think maybe some enemies have vulnerabilities. I, I, I've noticed that. Yeah. Or they have vulnerabilities after you kick them, you may have to punch them, something ah, like that. Don't ever get past them and try to punch them, though. No. Oh, yeah, blocking. definitely some block really well, and some you kill really quickly by kicking them. So you should block that one. I find the block kicking is my favorite move right now. <laughs> The Usually in games, I, I go for that as well oh. because it's a distance move, so it has yeah. it's very hard for them to kick you. Good variety of enemies too. Well, I like it. I love the I love the outfits and the enemies, <laughs> the hats, the hair, the different colors yeah. of outfits. I'm sure if you worked it out, you could figure out each each each. Uh... Oh, you got a kick and then a punch in. Oh, mm -hmm. oh I think that. And shirtless guys, too. <laughs> shirtless guys. With red pants. For the ladies. For yes. the ladies. <laughs> and you're playing as... Oh, chicken and the street chicken. Mm. Street chicken. Yum, yum, street chicken. It's the best kind of chicken. <laughs> 
and the main character is a woman, which is <laughs> which is unusual. Yes, Johnny Bravo. Absolutely. Yeah, it's Johnny Bravo. So you defeated Johnny Bravo, and the walking animation is really good. So start walking, don't jump, just in a straight line. It's I like love a, the like uh, three or four. The breezy steps um, of animation. The breezy uh, ponytail. Breezy ponytail. <laughs> Flop, flop, flop. Street chicken! <laughs> you must vary the moves because the enemies learn your moves. Oh, so you can't always just... That makes sense. That makes sense. In real life, please don't eat street chicken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, street chicken, not good. <laughs> it's probably bad. So you've got your, your gray bar is almost up to the top. I'm guessing there's going to be a change of scenery. Uh, change of venue. A what boss, is the gray bar? Maybe? Oh, we have to get it to the top? Uh, it wasn't in the instructions. The ones I have. Um, but I do have the manual. I think. That we can look through after. But we'll take a break and look through it and then come back to it. Oh, oh. oh do you want to look at the manual? Just for a second? We can take a look at things. How do we do that? Um, I will... In real life, it would be Bring pigeon. it up. <laughs> so let's just take a little pause here, and we'll take a look at some of the material that came with the game. Uh, Current position, the gray bar. I see. So how far okay. you've gotten across the, um, the street. That makes sense. So if you can uh, survey people in a second. Talk. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so I thought you were. Things, I thought you were switching it ready. over very quickly. So. <laughs> no, I'm not. Nice. No, we're well. We're James is just pulling up all the. Uh... There we go. So there's the, the front of the box. Nice. Excellent design there. Mm -hmm. Looks really, really good. Mm -hmm. um, gray bar indicates current position. In real life, street pigeon. There mm -hmm. you go. <laughs> uh, let me see what else we've got here. So there is, you can see the cartridge, the mm. poster, the manual, and the box. Nice. Proudly proclaiming 6K. Ooh. There's another shot of the cartridge art there. Very nice. Developed by Leonardo Santiago for Atari 2600 for one player using the joystick. Nice. Uh, produced and distributed by Red Button Games 2022. Oh, there's another shot of the cartridge. A bit closer. Red Button Game 02. Oh, there's somebody holding the cartridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, so let's let me get something else up. Oh, that's the Oh, there's a t-shirt. Here we go. There's the t-shirt of you kicking gray shirt guy with purple pants. Nice. Uh, I like the aim. Yep. <laughs> right to the crotch. <laughs> Ooh, that's, that's why he looks like that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, and I think we'll take a quick look at the manual nice. as well. Um, I might, might I might need that t-shirt, by the way. <laughs> it's a pretty, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think I'll go to YouTube for this. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah, I'll, I'll go full view here. Mm. Zoom. How do I go full screen? Ah, there we go. Control L. Just remember Control L. There we go. Boom. So, Razor's Edge usual user manual. Uh, I think this might be an English part of it. Uh, design, development, graphics, music, and sound effects. Leonardo Santiago. Gameplay, mm. Leonardo Santiago. Luciano Clemente and Leandro Camera. Beta testers, illustrations, uh, support, text and final art, mm -hmm. Portuguese proofreading, mm. uh, English translation. Okay, there, so there is some English. Uh, the city is in chaos. The streets are no longer a safe place, and even the police force is already taken over by criminals. Sarah Stone, always good for alliteration in comic books and video <laughs> games. Yeah. A well-known local reporter divides her days between martial arts classes mm. and investigative journalism that exposes the illicit attitudes of several criminal gangs in the area. 
unhappy with the young reporter's attitude and hoping to silence her, the gang of evil David, uh, gang of the evil David Scarblade nice. decides to kidnap Sarah's young sister Vanessa. Unable to rely on the police and certain that she can take matters into her own hands, Sarah decides to go out in search of her sister by facing a gang of outlaws wherever they may be. Apparently all over the streets. It's mm-hmm. a big gang. <laughs> Sarah knows the dangers and their lives are on. Dun, dun, dun. A razor's edge. <laughs> Vary the attacks. The characters must be lined up for an attack to be landed. The same is true for thrown knives. Ooh. Mm. Some enemies, like the skater and the biker, oh, need to be hit sense. in specific spots. And the best move for this is the jump kick. One. I love the jump kick. Sarah doesn't get hit if she's running uh, a jump kick. <laughs> Use defense to counterattack the right moment. Sarah's defense does not work against knife, motorcycle, or skater attacks. So don't bother defending yourself. I rarely defend in games. I usually just keep it on arm's distance and attack. Because to defend, you have to time it. and You have as much time as you need to pass the stages. Time does not matter in this game. Uh, some items may appear in mm. screen changes. Apple increases energy by two units. It's a very good apple. Mm. Uh, uh, street chicken. <laughs> no. chicken, <laughs> chicken thigh. thigh. Increases energy by six units. You got a good one. I got a roast chicken. Uh, Completes the energy oh, bar. Oh, you did. It oh, completely I was like, completed the energy wow, bar. That's yeah, a good one. It was the true street chicken. The yes, the whole, whole street the chicken. The whole street chicken. <laughs> uh, one up, so there are free lives. Grants you an extra life. Coin grants you an extra credit. Oh, continue. Nice. Gameplay: The player controls Sarah Stone, a fighter determined to take on the entire gang to save her sister's life. For uh, for this, you will carry out more than two hundred confrontations throughout the six stages of the nice. game, with two lives beginner, three lives advanced. What? <laughs> Is it harder in advance? That's why you need mm. three lives? Interesting. To track the health of Sarah and her enemies, there are two bars at the bottom of the screen, which we thought. Mm. In the center, an indicator shows how many credits the player had. So you have zero. Mm. Uh, which can be used to... So you have to gain them. Like, you start with zero continues. Oh, uh, throughout the game. Uh, yeah, the coin for a credit and oh. one up for a life. Nice. Uh. Uh, credits can be earned during the game. Very interesting. So it's arcadey, and you have to earn your, your quarters. Your credits. You are earn your <laughs> quarters. I like uh, that. You can also track progress at, at each stage via the gray location bar on the right. Sarah moves in all directions, and all and her attack moves are as we thought. Oh, he, oh my goodness. <gasps> oh, uh, I love it. Five, uh, score, five points per enemy eliminated. Energy, energy bar in points when advancing one screen. 100 points per life at the end of the stage. Uh, 10 points uh, per item when picking it up with a full energy bar. The score is displayed between stages and on the game over screen. Uh, the reset switch start, restarts the game anytime. To turn the soundtrack on and off, if you get tired of it. Uh, uh, or you just want to hear the hits. Uh, the difficult uh, color black and white. The difficulty switch on the left determines the difficulty of the game. Okay. A advanced, B beginner. We always have it on B to begin. Okay. Uh, so Johnny Striker. I love it. Allie Pigtails. I love Allie Pigtails. Alan Old Hat. <laughs> Frank Stronger. We haven't seen Jane Dress yet. I don't think. I think Any we've been these. in the first four. Yeah. We're still obviously very early. So Jane Dress. Yeah. Edgar One Eye. Nice. Maybe One Arm. Uh, <laughs> Bruce Knockout. Ah, oh, so nice. So he's a color variation of Frank. Stronger. I like that. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking, oh, you can make more enemies by changing the colors. Yeah. And he did. Yeah, yeah. Lenny Eager. Lenny Eager. Angus Brain. <laughs> uh, Stevie Belly. <laughs> Bobby Price. These are unique ones. Yeah. Johnny, John Plank. Robert Petrol. David Scarblade. Nice. The design of these characters is incredible. I they're think they're really wonderful. Good. Yeah, yeah. And how they move is great, too, yeah. in the game. Yeah. Oh, oh, we're at the last page. All right. Excellent. Really great manual. Yeah. And the Celtic um, says, nice rogues gallery in the manual. I love uh, that. That's I, really nice. I also love the story and the names attributed to the bad guys, too. There's there's just something nice about, you know. Oh, I had the... Giving them a, almost a backstory. I had the music on. I muted our TV, but... Oh, no! <laughs> so, hopefully that didn't... It wasn't cheat. blasting people's ears out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and we will continue. Good spot to 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 stop. So the gray bar is almost almost up there, and you're you're on your last life though. So don't don't get hit. Oh wait, 
how did I how did I lose my life there? Did I did it do it just before? Uh you must have. Thank you for resubscribing Neo Media! Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you for supporting us. Uh Neo Media says, evening all, what have I missed so far? A uh, bit of news. Uh the manual, unless you just caught it, for this game. This is um Razor's Edge. Uh the a beat em up for the Atari 2600, which is a fairly rare genre for the 2600, actually. What are some homebrew uh, beat-em-ups? And not one-on-one -on -one fighters, because that is a different genre. Um, beat-em-ups. I don't... And, and, it, and it, the ones with bullets don't count, like shooting other guys. It has to be punching or kicking. Or weapons. Um, Terrible. I'm trying to think of other beat em ups for homebrew. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but I am very sure there are. There must be. Oh no, you're almost dead. I know. I'm oh, not, that's not doing good. so well. Ah! You're almost to the end. Oh god. <gasps> Oh god! What is this? Knife throwing, so you're gonna die right at the first boss. Or don't die. He does it at certain times. Get out of the way! No, hit him and run! I know, I get it. Okay, shoot! No, get him! Too slow! <laughs> I think there are a few homebrew beat em ups on the Genesis. Oh yeah, for other systems, I'm sure there's lots of beat em ups. Oh, oh no! I'm just. I, it's hard to get to the point where I can actually hit him because I have to be on the same line as him. Ugh. Ugh. But he has to be on the same line as you to throw the knife. So I know. Stay just below him, and then when he throws it, get him. Get oh, up. it's really hard to get on his his plane. It's harder than it seems. Kung Fu Master. Yeah, that's one of the three classic games that could be termed oh, as um, beat 'em ups for the 2600. The other one is, um, uh, uh, oh, good. He is very weak against punches. He's got a lot of health. Ugh. Uh, Kung Fu Master, Chuck Norris, Super Kicks, and, what else did I say? Oh, Double Dragon. Oh, run. Uh, one more hit and you got him. Nice! Yeah, Clear the first level! Good job. Hopefully oh, I hope I get there street back. chicken? Street chicken, street chicken. Stage two. <laughs> oh no, there's no street chicken. I love how it comes. Maybe I'll get a full bath. Maybe <laughs> you go for a little rest. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, you do. Oh, you're in a you're in a bar now. You're in a club. It's got the club nice. music on. Nice, I like it. Thank God you got your health back. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, I know. Nostalgic says, good game! GG! Nice. I get, that's a good tactic, is to punch as you move forward into them. Because then you're out of reach of them. I feel like they're punch. moving a little faster now. Oh, oh there's the other... Uh... There's the dress. Uh, I can't remember her name. I can't remember. I don't have the menu in front of me. Nice club music in background, yeah. Yeah. Wait, is this an, like an actual playable beat em up in the 2600? It is. It's got incredible graphics. Look at that. Look at the bar yeah. in behind made of play field. I like it. Big stools. Those are stools for two people. <laughs> they can cuddle up. <laughs> oh. There's like glasses and candles and mirrors. Or it could be a, a club where you can see outside yeah. as well. One of those revolving restaurants that were really fancy in the 80s and 90s, right? <laughs> revolving restaurants. Uh, they had oh. one in Vancouver. They tore that one down, right? Oh, did they? I think. Is that gone now? 
I swear I heard they were gonna tear it down. I uh, know because there's two. There were oh, two, right? There was that. Yeah, there, there was one the Davey. hotel, and then there's the um, Weston or whatever it is, Not right Davey. downtown. Yeah. Um, the one Sheraton? right Sheraton? The Sheraton? That mm, one? That one's still there. Yeah, I think so. The older one. The big yeah. concrete one. I was like, I, I want to call it the Stratosphere because that's what it looked like. <laughs> like the Stratosphere from Vegas. The ride? Oh, the Stratosphere. Yeah. But it does have a ride on the Stratosphere. That's why I'm thinking it's a ride. Oh, you're getting hit a lot. Yeah. Street chicken. Club chicken now. Club chicken. Or club I, apples. I, I would have to say club chicken worse than street chicken. <laughs> I, I don't think I would trust the club chicken. Uh... Oh, squeaky cat. Is he squeaky? Yeah. <laughs> Still squeaky. You need some street chicken? Yeah, he does. He'd love some street chicken. <laughs> he's he's like, I'll take street chicken, club chicken, pigeon. <laughs> Any chicken. Yes. Oh, uh, you should tell the story of the hummingbird. <laughs> yeah, so yesterday, it's upstairs having lunch, and I heard chirp, 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 chirp. Uh, from outside, I had the balcony door open. Yeah, and there was um, a cat on the balcony, yeah. Um, so I went to the balcony, and I saw this hummingbird hovering, looking down at this guy, who was looking up at the hummingbird. Yeah. And the hummingbird was, looked at me, and then went back and went, chirp, 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 at, at Atari. Yeah. And, uh, and then flew away. And then, at about 10 minutes later, I heard, yep. chirp, 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 and came back to yell at Atari some more. It's like, because this is, the, the weather just got good in Vancouver. So all the, so I'm able to open the door and let Atari out in the balcony. Keep going. No, I was taking break. That's oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. You need I have some no street help. chicken. I need street chicken badly. Yeah. This is not a good sign. Not good at all. Oh. oh, no. Well, I made it to stage three to stage two. Oh, 311 points. That's not great, but. <laughs> okay. Not bad. Not bad. Your turn. A joystick for a cat. Okay. Kitty. Squeak. There you go. I think he made an imperceptible squeak there. Did he? <laughs> what do we have here? Chico nuggets, lol. <laughs> <laughs> You know me, this is the same as the Streets of Rage vibe going for it. Have a good uh, rest of the night, the D-Train Jet. Thanks for joining. Yes, thank you for joining. Look, chicken right away. Look, like a chicken. Oh my goodness. Full health once mm -hmm. again. Every tower collection says, meanwhile, the weather's fixing to, I assume that's 18? I'm not sure. 180 seems awfully high <laughs> to us here. Oven temperature. At two, two, on us again here at the tower starting tomorrow morning. Is that really hot or 18? do you mean really cold? <laughs> it's actually going back down. It's getting oh, colder no. here now, but. Uh, we had like a uh, 17 degrees day. Oh, it was, it was it, for Vancouver. That's gorgeous. It was sunny. Today was actually quite nice too, but it's supposed to get colder. I hope it doesn't. Oh my God. 180 degree turn. Gotcha. Oh. <laughs> I was like, none of that makes I'm sense. Misinterpreting that then. Yes. Oh no. Yeah, it's supposed to get cold next week. Or Ooh. back to colder temperatures. It's not that cold in Vancouver, but I'm not looking forward to that. You get them. You get them good. Controls are really yeah. simple because there's just three moves, right? So. Yeah, Phaser Cat, we get very similar weather to Seattle. I think you guys get nominally a little bit more rain than we do, but the weather is usually pretty, pretty similar. Ivory Tower Collections, near freezing tomorrow morning. Oh, Whoa, God. that does not sound like fun. Oh, Street Apple. Look, yeah. look, look. Street <gasps> Apple. Street Apple! Nom nom. Is this one button or two? It uh, is one. one button. Yeah. I don't think there's support for two buttons. Yeah, jump is um, up would be and cool. button. So the jump is specific. <laughs> uh, 
Our temperatures haven't exceeded 50 degrees yet, Diomedia says. And again, assuming Fahrenheit, because Celsius, that is hell. Yeah. I don't understand 50. <laughs> I don't understand 50 either. 50 is like the surface of the sun, as far as I'm concerned. That's Pretty much. Hot. It's oven temperatures. Road apples. They are road apples. Road, don't eat the road apples. <laughs> uh, uh, Do not eat road apples. Yeah, what does the zero between the life bar mean? That's credits. Oh, credits, because you'll get coins at some point along the way. Oh. Hopefully. That would, be, that would be the best thing you could get, because you get a whole what? new set of lives. Okay, so current for forecast is insane. Low is 32. That's Oof. pretty cold. Uh, 37's freezing, right? Some random number is I freezing. I don't know. It's so weird. I like zero. Zero That's is why freezing. I like Celsius. Zero is freezing. 100 is boiling. 100 is boiling. Like yeah. literally boiling. Yeah. Water. Um, hey, come on. 40 degree change during the day. Wow. That's what? pretty crazy. The high is 74. Very wow. extreme. That is very extreme. 32 is freezing. Gotcha. Okay. 32 cool. is okay. freezing. Not 37. Yeah. Why am I thinking As your prefers Kelvin. You just like to add Kelvin. <laughs> what is it? 200 to everything? Something like that? Yeah, Kelvin is the same as Celsius, but as there's Celsius. like 200 added to it. <laughs> yeah. Because there's absolute zero. Yeah. Which makes sense from yeah. a science Something like perspective. That. Something like that. Ugh. It's hard to return. Charles Whelan, we like random ways of measuring things on in the U.S. Yes. Sure do. Yes, you can take your yards and shove them. Yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> Ooh, the jump continued from to oh, a screen. Oh, kitty. That is an extreme temperature change, though. That is not fun. I'm I'm just looking forward to some warmer weather. I want some spring weather. Yeah. It was well, it was nice. it was hinting at it, but I think it's supposed to get cool again. I hope I can just keep kicking this guy. Oh. Yeah. Nope. Can't keep kicking him. Mm -hmm. Almost to the club. As long as I don't lose a little bit more energy. <laughs> oh, apple. Nom nom nom. Road apples. How do you like those road apples? Mm -hmm. Is Ivory Tower Collections, are you in San Fran? No. Oh, okay. I can't remember where it is, but okay. it's not San Francisco, I don't think. No, but San Fran goes crazy. Like, they have oh freezing cold and boiling hot at the same time. You step one foot to yeah. the left and it's... Central U.S. Gotcha. Okay. One foot to the yeah. left and it's a 10 degree difference. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to this a lot, of, a lot faster than I did. 34 degrees in Illinois right now and snow Ow. this morning. Ugh. Ow. I mean, I grew up, I grew up in... Um, Ontario, so you know it gets freezing cold in the winter, and you're sweating your way through the summer. So it's kind of probably somewhat similar to Illinois, not as hot. Very humid, very humid. I like the West Coast. Wow, wow, wow! Uh, get him! Get him! Trying. It's hard. It's hard to get on the pl on his plane. Yeah, you it really is. have to run into him. I think I find you have to run right into him. There you go. Yeah. Because he doesn't really fight back. He doesn't. He doesn't yeah. even defend himself. I mean, maybe he does in later, like, woo! Maybe all in, like, my lives, levels. all my lives. Yeah. So I get. Oh, it's snowing now in the morning. We had rain. Ugh. That's the worst. That in between where it goes between snow and rain or freezing rain. Freezing rain is brutal. Yep. Pazer Cat Games. Now I have jingles from old Ontario tours mad stuck in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love the old Ontario ads. Nostalgic says good game. Thank you so much. Let's see if I can make it to level three. See some bikers or something. Are you singing Ontario? Ontario? <laughs> <laughs> Punch this guy! Ow! Ow! <laughs> Stop it! Ow! Get out of the way! Run away! They're a little faster in this, they in this level. Faster. They move towards you a little bit more quickly. They are definitely yeah. faster. Ah, Neo Ow. says, spring in New England used to be Stop warm it. in the 90s. Oh Today it's cold or raining. Yeah. Ow. You do need to get some President's Choice cookies. The decadent cookies? <laughs> yeah. 
And they have more health, too. Oh, do they? Yeah, you're right, they do. Way they don't have health. full... I presume when you're in the upper levels, they have full health. Oh, God. Can you imagine? The Toko says, I don't think there will be a biker inside the bar. Uh, it doesn't it could look be a like biker a, bar. It doesn't really... The green light makes me think of the LEDs, you know? Like, yeah. that's a little bit slicker. A little bit slicker. It would be awesome if there was a biker in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Black jacket. Yeah. I love the music. Good job on that. Like Very good. Got the percussion. Yeah. Ah! Oh my god, my health. Oh, you haven't lost a life yet, I need though. a bar apple. You need yeah, a, bar, I... a bar apple. <laughs> uh, I'd take a bar apple over bar Damn chicken, it. I think, you know? Ugh. Those bar floors. Oof. Sticky, sticky, sticky. <laughs> sticky floors. Gross washrooms. <laughs> Stinky washrooms. Stinky washrooms. And I'm talking about the women's washrooms, not the men's washrooms. Far worse. Ooh. God. Is the background all play field graphics, I'm guessing? I believe so. Yeah. Um, I mean, the carpet could be um, background. Because it's just straight lines. Actually, a lot of it could be background. Oh my god, I'm down to one health. Nostalgic says the alcohol will kill any germs on the food, right? <laughs> mm. Boss could be the Starbucks barista. <laughs> oh, good job! Oh my gosh! <gasps> Instant death! I bet you have to. Skater. I bet you have to. Oh come you on! You have to jump hit them. Jump hit them. Yep. I think. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh, he blocked that. He oh. blocked it. <gasps> blocked it. It said you'd, the only way to do it is to jump. You probably have to hit him in a specific Ow. place. No, you can't hit him. You can't hit him. You can't hit him. You have to jump. <laughs> I'm trying to jump. <laughs> yeah, what gives you what score? I think that James had a lot more points at the end of stage one that Tanya had during both stages. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. I was slow to kill him. Oh, I got him finally. Did oh, you? Oh, my God. No. Oh, good job. I like that, though. That's a nice twist on... Uh... It is very nice. Yeah. Very unusual for a 2600 game. I oh, feel the like bar is different. Is it? Yeah, the stools. Oh, nice. That dude wasn't a boss. No, no, just random bad guy. Random punk random in the bar. Mid boss. Yeah, mid boss. Yeah, there you go. Punk in the bar. I'm looking forward to the um, motorcyclist. Yeah. I'm excited for that. It looked pretty cool, the graphic. Yeah. Oh. oh no! Nice. Yeah. It's it's it it, it is a. Uh... Oh my god! <laughs> Get him, dude with his his button down shirt. Dude, bro. Dude, bro. Stop hitting me. <laughs> Phaser Cat Game says, there's a tone in the music I don't think I've heard outside of Sword Quest Fireworld. <laughs> which one? <laughs> don't know which one. Mm -hmm. I need mm -hmm. some food. It's so random, though. All these drunk people coming after me. Mm -hmm. Don't they know I've, like, Killed 30 people already. Oh, I need some health. Mm. I'm so afraid to punch because almost every time I punch. Well, you if you punch, you step back. Punching and stepping back tends to help. Oh, you're almost dead. That's what I find. Punch and step back because then they'll counter. Nice. Because they, they, they kind of learn. Oh, no. Uh, last life, I'm nowhere near the end. Look at that gray bar. Oh. Uh. Nice. Getting there. 
Ow. Ow. <laughs> It's something. Yay! Four <laughs> apple! Woo! So I have some information about beat em ups here. Okay. If you would like to read that. Okay. Beat em ups. This is from Wikipedia. It is. A beat em up, also called a brawler, is a type of action game where the player character must fight a large number of enemies in unarmed combat or with melee weapons. Gameplay consists of walking through a level one section at a time, defeating a group of enemies before advancing to the next section. A boss fight normally occurs at the end of each level. Arcade versions of these games are often quite difficult to win, causing players to spend more money. <laughs> yep. Beat em ups are related to but distinct from fighting games, which are based around one on one matches rather than scrolling levels and multiple enemies. Such terminology is loosely applied. <laughs> However, as some commentators prefer to conflate the two terms. At times, both one-on-one -on -one fighting games and scrolling beat-em-ups have influenced each other in terms of graphics and style and can appeal to fans by their genre. Occasionally, a game will feature both kinds of gameplay. The first beat-em-up was 1984's Kung Fu Master, which was based on Hong Kong martial arts films. 1986's Niketsu Kona Kunio-kun introduced the belt scroll format employed extensively by later games while also popularizing contemporary urban settings while its western localized version Renegade further introduced underworld revenge themes. Oh, god damn it. The genre then saw a period of high popularity between the release of Double Dragon in 1987 which defined the two-player cooperative mode and continuous belt scroll format central to classic beat-em-ups. So three beat em ups from the original run of games that you know already, of. Already announced. Oh, you did that? Okay. Kung Fu Master, Double Dragon, and Chuck Norris Super Kiss. That's the ones I could find. Interesting. I don't think anybody's posted any yeah. mod modern homebrew 2600 beat em ups yet. I don't think there are. So were there 2600 beat em ups or just predated those them? Those three. Those three. Oh, so yeah. so those three were. I'm okay. just thinking about homebrew ones, whether yeah. there were any. Ow! Oh my god. It's a knife throwing guy. Oh, Leo says the drop is random. Uh, it seems that way. <laughs> mm. I've always wondered, did beat em ups come before the fighters? I'm thinking they did. They did. I think yeah. you're right, because I think they were like Kung an Fu arcade was... style. Oh, I feel another like that was guy. first. Oh, this is your boss. This is the boss. They just fought a knife guy. Nope, this is this is the boss. The knife guy is always the boss. It's the same guy. David Switchblade? What was it? David Razorblade? Scar Scarblade? Scarblade? There was Blade in the name. <laughs> Scarblade. Oddly, I don't know that I've thought of Kung Fu Master as a beat-em-up. It's... It, early it, days, maybe? It, it's early, but it qualifies. I've always thought of Golden Axe as being the first one for me. Oh, that's that's much later than than uh, Double Dragon, I think. Nice, woo! I only have one life left. I used two up on that level. Oh my god! Mm, depends on how far back you date. Fighters Karate Champ was their clear ancestor. Definitely their ancestor, old. but that's a one-on-one -on -one fighter. Yeah. It's Six not eight. really a beat em up because it's your it's the same opponent. Oh, it's a subway! <gasps> nice. I need a coin. <laughs> Maybe on the subway you'll get a coin. Let's hear the music. It is it is random, Leo says. Different music. Mm -hmm. This has got to be where the biker is. Mm. Very nice subway car. Oh, it's beautiful. Really, really good colors. Hello, La Curita? Curuita. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Mm -hmm. That train does look gorgeous. It's really good. The color makes these simple backgrounds work. Yes. Yeah, the color really does. And I love the color of the characters. They're so great. Already wasted, like, 
a fifth of my health on like three guys. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh yay, road you. apples! Subway apples! Subway apples. Can you go through the... Nope. So watch the doors. They change. Oh, they do change! Oh, a new character! Oh, it's the, uh... What was it? Belly? Something belly. No, I wish I had... I wish guy. I had the, uh... <laughs> that was a different guy. Manual. No, it was, wasn't it? There's two guys. No. Oh, you're right. Big. You're right. Yeah. And the belly guy had his, his stomach sticking away. Yeah, out. that's true. Oh, I didn't see him. I must have missed that. I agree, S. Ramirez. This is, this is a really good looking game. The artwork and manual look pretty good too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stop blocking me. <laughs> Kathy Mantini Pong was the first one on one fighter. True. <laughs> Just kind of, kind of. graphics on that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, these guys are hard. No. You really have to hit them. No. Oh, good job. Oh, oh, yay! Street chicken! Subway chicken. <laughs> Get it before the rats do. And the There's Ataris. the belly guy. There's belly guy. He's got a pompadour. White pompadour. Or a hat. That oh, could be a hat. Yeah. Oh, dude. Graphics and animation, walk animation is really good in this game. You have to switch it up. You can't keep kicking. I just kick till I... I can't kick him anymore because it's just alternate. so safe to Punch kick. one, kick one. Punch one, kick one. And that's why you die. Have you ever seen the Pong action figure? <laughs> <laughs> no. Just cubes. <laughs> White. White line. Colorless cubes. White line on a stand. <laughs> Yay! You was hard to get. <laughs> Metal Lunar love finding a chicken leg on the floor in the subway. Mm, yeah, just go uh, for it. Oh no, there is! I thought you were being facetious. What? <laughs> death there by is? Toys. Pong action play sets. Oh, Death by Toys makes silly things. Do they? Oh. They're awesome, but they're like oh, completely no. silly. They're all like... One <laughs> They're don't like, worry, Leo says, don't worry, guys, the chicken is on a plate. <laughs> oh, that makes it all better. It's like George Costanza going into the garbage. It's like, it was separate from the, it was sitting on top. <laughs> the eclair was fine. It only had one bite out of it. The chicken was on a plate. Oh, oh God, God, I just, we were talking about something else, and I had another Seinfeld reference jump into my head. Oh, when we were talking about the flashing of the Atari, I was going to make a reference to don't have a don't have a seizure, you know, from Mary Hart's voice. Um, that's weird. That's the second uh, Seinfeld. Don't have a seizure. Yeah, because you know how uh, Kramer has seizures when he hears Mary Hart's voice. That's oh. where that whole that whole thing started. Oh, I barely remember that one. Anyway, that's, I think it was Mary Hart. From it. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, it's funny. Second, second sign. Ooh, record. actually, going to the top is easy. Is it? Because they stay on the top. Oh, they stay on the line, so you stay in line with them. Yep. <gasps> Sneaky. It wasn't on the street, it was on a plate on the street. <laughs> oh my god, I just found something else. Maybe boxing for 2600 could be considered the first one-on-one -on -one fighting game. For one-on-one -on -one fighting. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's boxing, but yeah. <laughs> the H said, C said, I suspect the muscle guy is just the fat guy hiding his belly. <laughs> <laughs> Sucking it in. Yeah, it's oh, very God true. God. It's very true. It's just Instagram. Coin, please. Coin. Instagram fat belly. Yeah. what filters are for, right? Yep. Yep. He's blocking everything. Punches and kicks. Yamita says, remember, if your main attack is a sword melee, it's a hack and slasher. If your main <laughs> weapons right. are your feet and fists, it's a beat em up <laughs> Being able to pick up weapons still doesn't constitute it as a hack and slasher because the weapons are secondary and they don't have to be used. That makes sense. That's right. And you can lose them, too. Yeah. James has found an exploit. I have. Uh, so, somewhat, somewhat, because it keeps them on your same level. Come on up. 
Yeah, there's fine. Up However, there. when you when you get to the final guy, no, you can't do that. Uh, he he, you can't. Ah, oh, goddamn it! But it does. It, yeah, it might help to have him on that one. No, because he throws. No, but I mean, if he's if you oh, stay near the God. top, you can kind of keep him in, in in line to hit him. Maybe, yeah. But you have to play with that. Oh no, no, he moves around randomly. Y yeah, he, he does. He jumps around. Yeah. Mm. What you got to do is find the weak spots in the game. <laughs> find the exploits that makes it easier for you and harder for them. Like when you hide behind something. Oh my God! Stop! Stop it! Bad cat. Yeah, have you hit the hour mark? Mm. Oh, he's pretty good at oh, sensing gosh. that, eh? Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're getting there. A couple yeah. more screens, and we should be at the boss. Yep. How many levels? Did it say six levels? It says two. It said it, there was 200 altercations. Oh, that doesn't. Count. I don't know how many that can say. I don't think we should get to the end, though. Ah, stop it! Um, I want to. It's up to to Leonardo. No, I, I think we should see what the next level is, if we can. Yeah. In the background. And then quit? Yeah. Leave something leave something for everyone else I'll probably to probably die uh, anyway. Yeah, you you are close to death anyway. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. I love these big, big muscly guys. The big shoulders. Yep. Great graphics. Too bad there aren't any firearms in game. <laughs> and <laughs> ah. boom. <laughs> that would make life easier. Or if I had a, if I could pick up the throwing knife. Oh yeah, that's true. Two hit combo. Oh yeah, that's that's working actually. I'm doing a punch kick combo. Oh, oh except no. when they trap me. Oh, oh you're this is not out. going well. Oh no! Well, I may not be able to show it anyway. There we go. Unless I get some health, oh. but health usually only comes at the end of a level. The end of a screen. Before they go. It does. I guess it's, as Leo says, it's a random drop, so whether you get something or not. Oh, look at these bellies. <laughs> They're eating all the chickens. They're eating the street they're, chickens. That's who you have to blame. That's why there's ah. not enough street chickens around. Yeah, they get to it. Yeah, they're getting there first. Oh, oh no! My God. You're so close to death! Ah, no, no! Run. <sighs> we saw three levels. Yeah, that's great. The backgrounds really are nice. fabulous, Leo. They look so good. Yep, and the yep. music, too. That's why the bar stools were wide as they are for these dudes. <laughs> it's true. Very good point. It's Very not good the point. play field with at all. It's these guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really fun. Mm -hmm. um, the graphics is are incredible. The animation is incredible mm -hmm. in this game. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the walk cycles of, of the characters, really, really, really good. Really great. Even the, no. the fighting moves... I like that she punches high and low if you yep. do it in succession, yep. which is a nice little, you know, a nice little little uh, extra there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, train looks gorgeous. I love, I love, I love all the backgrounds. Oh yeah, really, the, really good. And yeah. they they vary as well. Mm -hmm. um, the doors, the, the bar stools. I didn't notice on the first level, but I bet it varies uh, at the same time. Like the the bricks probably change or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, like we said, this is available right now. Is it? You can buy this right okay, now. Okay, that's awesome. Because we showed awesome. the box and everything, nice. so you can buy it at contact at redbuttongames.com.br. Mm -hmm. So Leo might want to post that in the chat so everybody nice. can see it directly and copy-paste it. If you mm -hmm. want it, as no price, so you'll have to ask him. comes with a poster, the game, mm -hmm. uh, the box... And an option for the t-shirt, which is a pretty cool t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Ah, so it is time for game number two. Thank you for that, Leo. Put the um, email. Yes, thank in, you. In the chat. So there you go. Excellent. So uh, awesome game. Great stuff, Leo. Um, took him a year to make it. Oh, no. RC70 says, I think Treat Bell is broken. It's probably not time yet. Mm -hmm. What does it say on it? Uh, I don't 
24 seconds. Oh, ha, so ha, ha, ha. this is a perfect Very time close. to do it, actually. Yeah, if you if you feel that. Uh... So this next game is called Uzi the Goo Maze Quest yeah. by VHZC. Um, and we know if it's from VHZC, it's going to be fun. Yes. Because all of his games are incredible and fun. So yeah. it should be open now. Yeah, there should be a timer when you click on it. It's treat time. Uh, it's treat time. Yay! Yay! It's treat time, Thank kittens. you, Ivory Tower Collections. All right. Time Atari for cat. Cats, are you hungies? And it's a good time to read every single game that VHZC has made. A Roach in Space, A Roach in Space 2, Cosmic Boogaloo for 7800, Canonica, Canon in D, D for Defense, 7800, Dory Me, Draco, Game of the Bear, Game of the Bear, Too Much to Bear, I Ran, Keep Them Out, Night Guy in Low Res World Castle Days, Night Guy on Board, 30 Squares of Fate, Night Guy Quest for Something, Low Res Car, Low Res Racer, Ninjish in Low Res World, Ninjish Guy in Low Res World, Ninjish Guy Perilous Island, Ooey the Goo, Maze Quest, Peril, Slide Boy in Maze Land. There we go. <laughs> That's every single game I think that VHZC has done. Uh, Vladimir Zuniga is the winner of three Atari Awards. Mm -hmm. 2600 Work in Progress Original for Night Guy and Low Res World Castle Days. Yeah. 2600 uh, Best Homebrew Original for Game of the Bear. Uh, 7800 uh, Best Work in Progress Original for Ninja Guy Perilous Island. Mm -hmm. So he's... And tons of nominations. Oh, my God. Just tons and tons of nominations. Um, so this game is brand new. He approached me the other day and said, hey, you want to show a game? And I'm like, yes. I of course. <laughs> I'll show any of your games. They're yeah. all amazing. Um, so this is an exclusive world debut. How many are you feeding him? He's got one more to go. So uh -huh. we'll let him have his last one, and then we'll flip over. Okay. Okay. Atari, are you ready for your last <laughs> he, he, like, can hit it without even looking at He's it. He's just like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Treats, please. Treats. Treats. Good. Good Get it, Tari. Thank okay. you, Ivory Tower Collections. Okay. It would be faster to read the games he hasn't made, says yes. Spicer Cat Games. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> okay. Go for it. Load it up, please. Uh, uh, this game is notes from VHLC. This game is called Uzi the Goo. It's kind of homage. Load it up, please. No, I'm just, I'm just reading uh, BHZC. Uh, his My comment. game is a lot, is a lot more humble. I started a couple weeks or, uh, or so ago, but it has, it does have dun <laughs> dungeon chicken. Excellent. You need dungeon chicken. It's kind of an homage to adventure. Here it is. Oozy the Goo Maze Quest. Look at that little blob. Aww. Uh, it's kind of an homage to adventure, but it's using uh, Game of the Bear engine minus the jump. Okay. Uh, for now, it's only the first floor of the maze, 25 screens. He actually put it up to 40 screens. Mm. I don't know if it's still one uh, one floor, though. Mm. Um, the timer represents uh, your energy hit points. If depleted, you die. Uh, the remaining energy is also your score. There's not lives in the traditional sense. Mm. So there's no lives, it's kind of health and score hmm. kind of thing. Um, and he will be posting this game in the forums after we show it. Excellent. So you can download it too. Okay. Um, so go for it. And that's that's the notes. <laughs> that's all I have. Um, because v I've found VHZC games are like, it's self-explanatory. You know what to do. You just, you just do the things that are on the screen. Oh, it's timed. I see. So you've got 586 seconds. Oh, there's a VHZC thing. Chompy things. And buttons to press. Oh, the chompy things are safely away in the corner now. Ah! 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 Chompy guy. It does reset, though. Oh, boy. Ah, chicken! Where's that chicken? How do you get that chicken? I don't know. Let's see. Does that give you more time? I'm That'd guessing. Nice. Oh. Yeah, that's how you get the chicken. Woo! Oh. oh. Maze chicken! Maze chicken. At least it's not dark maze chicken. <laughs> that's oh. the worst kind of chicken. <laughs> I can see it becoming a dark maze that's, at some point. That's worse than... Um... Oh, a lock. Oh, oh, zappier. There has to be zappers in a VHZC game. Yeah. That's one. So what was back It's like this a way? pacifist version of Gauntlet. Uh-huh, you can't get her. 
<gasps> Ooh, spinning knives. Oh, that's a new one. Whoa. You're one yeah, pixel away from stabby stabbiness. Here, go up here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> They're all lead to the same place. Unless it's one of those games where it actually changes the maze, mm. depending on which direction you go. But it, no, this one it doesn't, doesn't seem to be that neat. And skulls. Don't forget VHC's trademark. Oh, bats. Yeah. I feel like there's... This is all dead end here. No, that one goes up and around. I think that's the one to do. Can't go. What I'm doing, where I'm going. Ooh, how do you buy that bat? I don't think you do. Oh, a knight. Oh, my goodness. A knight? Oh, okay, two more. Okay, that's no good. Two more stabbies. <gasps> wow. Oh, a patrolling. Oh, God. Ah! It has a pattern. Just go past it. There you go. So did you lose time? Or did I you just... Have. Didn't notice. Five, <sighs> 20. So tight. Oh, where does that one go back to? I don't know. Don't know. Beeping countdown timer to add to the nervousness. Oh, what's that? That looks like a good thing. It does. If I can get there. Ooh, big maze. Oh my god. That's where... No, I haven't been this way, have I? Oh, it's under the knives. Another trademark. Reusing a level. Oh, an apple. Maze apples. Oh. Chompy guy. Slow chompy guy. Oh, he's guarding it. Is he gonna... He's gonna run out at you? No. Go down, back up again. Was he guarding that? Or no? Apple a day keeps the question away? <laughs> cute characters, of course. Oh yeah, super cute characters. Mm, that's a dead end. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that's how you get to the apple. Mm. Through that guy. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have to feed him the apple? Oh, haha! -ha. Oh, you have powers. I don't know what that means. I would run. Oh, no, it's not going down yet. Oh, that's a down. Okay, so back the way we came. So maybe you can shoot. Don't do it yet. But... Nope. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Slow chompy guy would be the hero of the next game. Slow chompy guy. No, uh... straight down. All the way back around. Can't remember where I came from. That goes up and around to the chompy guy. <laughs> nice. Oh, you have oh, nice. a shot now. And you can't shoot it constantly. Phew. Well, I get a little bit of time back. Yeah. Ah! Oh, did you just run into <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, no. I was like, I just assumed he was dead. Ah! God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Easier said than done. What was down here? Nothing. Oh, yeah. I think it's a pear, Fraser Cat Games. I was, I was debating whether a pear or an apple looks very pear-like. <sighs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> cat butt. Yeah, you're playing, playing on hard mode. I know. It's with cat, the cat butt. Cat butt mode. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's sweetie. He's, he's like, so cute. He's like, let me restrict your... Uh... Oh. Ah! Nice. Remember, it does come back. Yep, I won't run into him, I promise. You can only shoot when the mana bar is full. Okay, that makes absolutely sense. full. Oh, so it has okay. to replenish. Placeholders turning into characters is a fine tradition. That's how Kirby came to be. What? What was Kirby in? Oh, Pong. Pong makes an appearance. Ooh, it slows down and speeds up when it gets hit. Very nice. That is so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, a bat. Now I have to kill a bat? In yeah. fact, Chompy Guy is the head of Game of the Bear 2 boss. Oh. I'm glad I got that coin when I did. Yes. So where the hell am Ooh, I going? Ooh, a key for the lock. Probably going this way is a dead end. Which is too uh, easy. You're probably right, probably but it also the could around. be there's more. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're it. absolutely correct. It's like knew this it. is a dead end. Yeah, that it's looks like easy. about right. I am liking this so much. Oh, zappies. I haven't had to go through the zappy, but maybe I. Key. And 
fading the screen when the zap comes on. So awesome. Yeah, all the animations are so cool, I agree. Jesse. Oh no! That was very right poorly timed. It. Didn't notice if we lost time though. We can just get reset. Mm. Oh gosh! No, you just get reset. But in essence you lose time. There you go. Whew. <laughs> with them. Is there enough room along the yeah, top? Yeah, there is, kind of. Oh. oh, no, there isn't. I, I, I got through it, but I was going with them. Oh, go Maybe it's the easier then. along the bottom then. Oh. I'm doing terrible this. Oh. No, you don't fast. Lose. You don't lose any time. You just get reset. There you go. There go. You just had to pause. Bad time. I'd need a map for this game. It's, oh, yeah. It's kind of linear. Like, there's not so too many straying paths. There's a lot of backtracking to where you didn't go there. So, it's it's fairly linear. It's not too bad. It's not a maze game that would make me go, ah! I'm going backwards yeah. now. now. Now going up is the new path. Well, I think. Uh, no, I'm going backwards. Oh, well then go the other path. No, I... There was another path back there. What? What? What are you talking about? Oh, that's too late. What other path? Way back. Way back. Oh, go back down. Go back down there. Um, that one. I've the... been, I've been that oh, way okay. already. I, uh, I'm trying to find my way back to... You lost one second plus the timer to redo it. Oh, okay, so you do lose... One second. Um, and Vich said, he said, I made this game play mainly for my kids, so it is easier than the others. Mm. Yeah, because it's... It's a it's, maze. It's you a maze, to... and it's timed. So you don't... Oh, There's you have the key now. So. Yeah, so I'm trying to... Oh, there you go. I now didn't ever that go the zappers, back this way. You've never gone through the zappers, though. I didn't need to. But maybe that would have been faster. I don't faster. think you've ever ah. been on the other side of the zappers. I think you do need to. Oh, that's a full blocking wall. I think you need to go through the zappers to get to the yeah. to lock. Yeah. Yeah, this is the beginning. I don't think I've been on this side, though. No, okay. Fine. Do, do, need more do. water. I only brought a small glass. Oh, no! I could use some more wine if you want to get more water. Ah! More wine? Oh, you did have wine. I did have wine. <laughs> Don't want to miss anything. <laughs> I understand. Oof. One pixel away from death every time. Yeah. Dead end. There's a lot of dead ends. It, it looks more mazy than it actually is. It's not too bad. It's not like the maze in Adventure, which drives me up the wall. It's a that one I have to map out because it's so crazy. I don't know, they must have spent a lot of time on that maze and adventure. It drives me crazy. Phaser Cat Game says the physical release will come with a graph of paper. Yay, it's the key for the lock. Oh, and a ladder. Oh, level one, level two, spelled out in You wanna do level two? I'll yes. get you some water. Please. All right. Woo. Uh, I have the adventure one memorized, RC70. I can understand that. Uh, our Ramirez says, I don't like adventure. There, I said it. Phew. I like parts of adventure. I don't like the maze. If there is no maze in adventure, I think I would like it a lot more. Um, this is the first floor, though it started easy. Uh, oh, it was a hot chili. It's even flashing, it's so spicy. Ooh, a laughing block. Very cool. I have I have very little time. Oh, I need that chili, I think. Oh god. I have like very little time. So little time. Oh, laughing block. 
Oh, of course. It's very hard to shoot up. Oh, you can't shoot up. Oh, you can't shoot up. Oh, God. Oh! 40 seconds. Oh, you're in my way. 40 seconds? Yep. Well, and there's a chili, but I don't know if it'll give me some life. You have a shoot, I've... but you can't shoot down. No, can you? we can't. I need that chili so badly. It gives me nothing. Except it turns oh, me into fire, a little fire. Maybe, maybe you can burn him. Oh, he's, ha ha! He's a block of ice. Is oh, he? No, that's oh. a shortcut, I think, now. I think. Can I, am I invulnerable? No. Well, I only have seven it. seconds left. I don't know. <laughs> uh. Splurk. Game <laughs> over. You can't shoot up. That's why he's laughing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can you close that down? Yeah. <sighs> I'll do the first level and you do the second. There was a second laughing block, right? Oh. Yes, Can you start at level two? No. No. no that's you gotta okay. power through this. Yeah. You have to know what you're doing. I don't know. I don't remember half of what I was doing. <laughs> Too much one. Or not enough. Or not enough. Power through it. Ah, um, you run. Is it up? No, nope, you run. Run. You can get the um that chicken at some point if you want it, but uh, well, this is like right away. Yeah, but you can't get the you you have to get the um you have to get the shot to get the key. Oh. So you you really do have to. I'm going the wrong way. Yep. <laughs> this is how to get to the end. Over? <laughs> yeah, this is oh. how to get to the end. So, uh, you want to go the other way. Should I rage reset? It's up to you. I think you're okay. You're definitely not doing it. Faster. I think I stumbled yeah. along the way, the right path, kind of by accident. I think you did, because there's yeah. there are multiple directions. So you go down, you hit that, and get through. Oops. Hi, cat. Bunk bunk. Get through, and you. Then I went. To the right and then down. Right. I believe. Down so here? down, I believe so, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you don't need to be there. It's like, I do need to be here. I need to investigate it. Mm hmm. Yeah, he went. Is it up? I think it is. Kitten! What is he Cat. doing? He's just, he's in the recycling. Or the shredding. Kittens! Yeah. Oh. At least you don't lose too much. No. Is he in the recycling? He is. He's a funny cat. He likes batting at paper. Oh, you were here already. No. Aren't you? No, no. There you go. There it is. And you have to kind of follow the path. Faster! <laughs> Faster! Is this it? Yeah, this you side? do. Have, yeah, you do. You have to get past him. Bad kitty, bad kitty. Oh. Nope, nope. Go back for a second? I have to shoot that guy. Oh. I have to get the coin first to shoot the guy. Yeah. Yeah, which one is it? Okay. Which one is it? Yeah. <laughs> and there shoot you go. the guy to get... Now, should I go up this way? I, I think, think it's a dead, a dead end. end. Ugh. 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 Brutal maze. <laughs> Read the chat if there's any. Just Charles Whelan hitting the rage with rage reset. <laughs> uh -huh. Choosing all the wrong ways, VH Sensei. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. That's, and that's why you need a map. So you can. There you go. Apples! Okay, Woo! that cat is 
not where he's supposed to be. What is he doing? Kittens, why are you on top of the amplifier? Because it's warm. Come here! You will not come here. Ha. Ah, <laughs> sorry. That was mean. That was mean. I know it was like, mean. Uh, what? Kimmy? Oh, I know that was mean. <laughs> you can't, you can't sit on the am amplifier, though. No, it'll fill with fluff and then perish. <gasps> that really doesn't uh, affect too much. Luckily... Harder than it looks. Yeah, it's you just not. Pick you the just top have to pick it. Yeah, it's true. Shoot the bat. Shoot the bat. Can't shoot up or down. No, nope. just side to side. That's very why. clever mechanic. That's the bad way. I think yeah. <laughs> this is the good way. Yay! Saved a tiny bit of time. Tiny, tiny bit of time. Oh, I know, kitty. life is unfair. I know, I know, I know. Oh, now I have to go all the way back, right? Through those zappers, like all the way back. Yeah, I, yeah, you have to go back through it all, I think. Phaser Cat Games, the sound that enemies make when you shoot them is really satisfying. <laughs> Agreed. Mm -hmm. I like Uzi. Uzi's so cute. Yeah. I, it's not lost on me that the slime is one of the first enemies whenever you play RPGs either. <laughs> it's like the slime's trying to get his own back. Is it this way? Yep. That's the way I came in. Yeah. You have to kind of Hands go backwards. Up. There might be a fast way. I don't know. I think but... this might be the fast way. Yeah. Yeah. I think it is. And across. Oh. Oops. I think VH said he says you only, said you only lose one plus the reset time. Mm. There it is. There it is. There it is. It's so far away, but so close. You go through, right? You go yeah. through that. <gasps> oh. Zabity zaps. And that one sets you back a little bit. Deluxe version of Uzi with a plush Uzi. <laughs> oh yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like. Uh... Soot sprite except be, green. It's basically the soot sprite. A yellow soot sprite. Green. Green. Is he green, green. or is he yellow? He's, He's yellow. yellow green, but no, I'd say green. I would say yellow. Lies. Yep. Lies. Try checked. Color blindness yellow. tests need, needed for you. Yellow. This cat. He's sitting da, da, da. on his pillow. Level one, level two. I agree. It's yellow. He's yellow. That was green. James is losing his color. Yeah, maybe it's me that needs colorblind tests. It's possible. I love the flashy uh, chili. That's how I see chili peppers, by the way. <laughs> My flashing. stomach goes, whoa, oh, that one's, boy. that's like, that's dangerous, yeah. Uh, laugh, laugh, laugh now. Laugh <laughs> now. Phaser Cat Games. I see red. Maybe I should see a doctor. <laughs> oh god. Yellowish green says Carl D. Uh, everyone's, the everyone's got their snot green yellow. RC70 says green. Wow, this is this should be the um the poll <laughs> the of the day. Yeah. What color? Is it yellow? Is it green? It is the dude. <laughs> is that faster? There's yes, another guy too, but I'm not sure if you're gonna get to him. The other um ice guy. We'll see. 259 is a lot it. more time this time. Yeah. Oh, what? That does, what? There. D d d yeah, yeah, oh, probably. Oh, you oh, lose you, it. You lose it, yeah. <sighs> Maybe there's a second one? Where do I go now? I have to go all the way back. Obviously, the color needs to be selective. Oh, do I have to get that again? I bet you do. But how do you get... Oh, you have to go straight to the ice guy. Yeah. So you have to know how there to get a, to him. Well, this is, is it through the... the that's the shortcut. No, okay. no, 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 no. So that is so you can get through this guy right here. Yeah, but so you then... you can go faster. No, but you have to get the other guy. Yeah, but he's, he's along this way. Is he? I'm pretty sure. Okay. So as long as you know how to get back to 
There. There you go. You'll get him. Probably have just enough time to get yeah. that guy. Now I have no, where, no idea where to go. Oh my god. Oh, look Chartreuse. at that. It's another thing to eat. Give me time. Eat. Oh, thank god. Just a little bit of time. Oof. Hooray! Chartreuse. Nope, dead end. He is green. Look at the label. I copied the color from the sprite. That's, I still see yellow. True. I still see yellow. The color is the label. <laughs> okay, where do I go? Not there. Not there. Only one way to go. It's over here. Ooh, look at that skull! Oh my god. The goodness. laser. Laser skull. There is a button. Yeah. And, uh,. It's obviously up here, because this is the only path to go. Oh my goodness. Am I going to make it? Of course, the time I have is still only... Oh my god. Is the time that I have for level 3 as well. Goodness. Oh, there may not be a 3. Oh, I see. Okay. Almost to the button. Oh my gosh. Almost to the button. Go, 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 go. Run, run, run. Run, it's run, easy. Skull. Run, run, no. run. <laughs> I don't think it's a time skull. This is way too there, to Oh, yeah. Get him. Shortcut. Get him. Yeah. Da da da! And a beta! Yay! We win! <laughs> World record 183. Well, that's awesome, VHZC. I love it. It's, it's so much fun. And it's totally different than. Well, it's it's not completely different than all of his other games. It's very similar to the one where you're going like this. Where you're sliding around, slide boy and maze land. Oh yeah, right? there's you know, some similarities, but not really. Not in the movement. Not totally. really. It's not kind really. of yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that one is screen at a time, and yeah. you go to the next screen. Yeah. Excellent, excellent game. Oh, Super so fun. much fun! Yeah. All the trademarks of VHZC. Yeah. The, the pong, the lasers, lightning. the lightning, the, the skull, the knives and stuff. The perilous knives. items that perilous that come items. for you. Yeah. To take a word. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like Slide the flashing, sprites, right? like the flashing chili. Yes, for melting the, the power uh, box of ice. Yes, it yeah. reminded me of Frosty, um, where there are those flame guys and the enemies. Oh yeah, when he turns into the flame, yeah, yeah. yeah. Apparently, um, uh, Uzi is mildly flammable, as we found out. Yeah, yeah, but he does he does peter out after, after a little a bit. While, he, yeah. he, the flames go out. Yeah, 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 yeah. stay yeah. frosty. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, what a great couple of a games. That's so good. Razor's Edge. Nobody has come up with a beat em up that's a. Uh, oh, wow. I've, I've a, never a seen a beat em up on 2600. For homebrew. For homebrew, yeah. I think that's the only one. If nobody has said any yeah. other ones, and I can't think of another one, there's one on one fighters. Yeah. There are a number of those. One on ones, and, yeah. And uh, EA Smith made one that. that Kung Fu Combat Kung 1 Fu and Combat. 2. Yeah, yeah. But that's not a beat em up. That's nope. that's a fighter. Yeah. Uh, I have to say I like how this maze is laid out. So yeah. do I. It's not too convoluted. There's only a, like a couple paths. Mm -hmm. Most are dead ends. Um, I like the timed elements where you have to go quick back. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really cool. I um, mean, a lot of VHZC's games where it's screen by screen have a maze element to them as well, where you do. have to backtrack on yourself and find the other path. Backtracking, so, another. I like that. Oh, double level. Um, reuse of enemies on mm. multiple levels. I like Another that a lot. Yeah. Trademark. Yeah. 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 Um, amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much, VHC, for letting us premiere that game. Oh, so much fun. Thank you. And Thank Leonardo you for sharing your beta. Yeah. For letting us premiere Razor's Edge as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was really fun. So that one will be out in the forums. In the forums, the beta? Yes. That, okay. That one. Very uh, unless specifically. Unless he's updated yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Um, very cool. That's very and cool. And VHZ, he's really good about his games. He keeps uh, letting people play the newer and newer ones. So I'm sure he'll he'll keep updating it mm. as time goes on. Uh, let's see what's coming up because I'm always filling it out with lots of cool new stuff. Um, on two... What day is today? The 8th is 12th Tuesday? Yeah. So you're going to be playing some 8-bit games with me on Tuesday. Ooh. Some are shooters. So mm. I'm very looking forward to that. They're the cross-platform compiled games. There's a lot of chicken in this stream. Yeah, there. 
<laughs> yes, there was. That's something that linked both of these games. Uh, yes, there was a theme going no, 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 there. No, 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 no. Not, not in the type of game. <laughs> But, uh, but the uh, floor chicken, floor chicken was definitely. Oh, and apples or pears. And well. apples, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Love it. <laughs> no, no, no. None of that. Atari yep. cat. Why are you such a bad cat? Uh, are the cat treats chicken flavored too? Oh, Where are they? oh, good point. I believe they are. Oh, they are. Chicken, beef, and turkey flavor. Oh, 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 my cat. Okay, I'm going to have to give you one. Yeah. Popeyes. Um, and then on next Friday, we're going to be having the exclusive world premiere of Dark Keep, which is a board game conversion yeah. to video game. Oh, yes, and Darcy's playing Darcy's that with you, right? Darcy's going to play that because That's he owns cool. a board game store, so he's the expert at board games. He plays mm -hmm. them all the time. Meow. <laughs> yeah, we have the microphone now, so it will pick up his meows. quieter sounds. Yes, yeah. Um, and then the Friday after that, we have Hellway, two-players edition, an exclusive mm -hmm. work-in-progress update nice. for that. It is a two-player racing game. That's Super cool. fun. Um, and then we have later on after dark, we have a INV as the 2600 high score showdown. We'll also be uh, playing some some more of the two, 2022 Harmony Games mm. uh, competition for high score, and some unscheduled stuff. Atari Age Day 2022 is coming up. We've got all the developers on board. I'm still trying to contact one left. But we're going ahead with it. It's coming up very soon. Don't have a date just yet. Champ Game Secret Homebrew is coming up next month nice. in May. I don't know what it is. It's, good. <laughs> it's a secret. Every every year we've done a Champ Games Homebrew, Secret Homebrew. Yeah. And he doesn't tell me what it is. He usually puts, puts a convoluted lock on it. <laughs> lock screen. So I can't even get to it early. Yeah. Because he passes it to me like days before. <laughs> yeah. But he puts a lock on it. And he gives hints in the chat. Oh my god, it's brutal. Mm. This one I'm looking forward to uh, as well. Interview with Old Style, who is the developer of Mario Brothers for the 7800. Plus, we're going to be debuting his brand new game as well. It's secret. Okay. It's awesome. Okay, yeah. People have asked for it in the mm -hmm. forums. So there's some people out there who really like this secret game that we're going to reveal. Exclusive world premiere of that game. Maybe we might even tease the one after too. Oh my God, that one's exciting. <laughs> you, oh you, you. That one's so a good excited. one. Yeah, I, I am. You know what it is. Um, then we have a developer spotlight on Todd Fermansky, yeah. who's Revan Tooley, and we'll have an exclusive world premiere of his new game, Harpy's Curse. Mm. Um, which looks awesome. It's a uh, flying maze shooter, underground cave shooter. It looks amazing. Um, like I said last episode, ZPH the game is off, being put on cartridge right now That's at Atari scary. Age. Yep. We're going to have that debut. Yep. We've already shown it on the show, but we it's finished now. Mm -hmm. We're going to give it away. We're going to have the exclusive final version mm -hmm. on the show. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, I can't, I can't tell you what it is. I can't say yes or no. Um, and Atari 2600's 45th birthday. Are you 45? No, Atari 2600's 45th birthday. That Marathon. would be a very old cat. <laughs> it would be. A very old cat. You're like five, six? Uh, five or six. He's probably coming up to six. <laughs> yeah. He's like, don't touch me. Still a pretty young cat. Yeah. Um, we're going to be playing every single Atari 2600 classic game. Mm. Eyes? Yeah, that, that's a cool one. I mean, I'd love Satan's Hollow or Eyes. Mm -hmm. That Mary Brothers port is amazing. Oh, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Yep. Unbelievable. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yep. Atari turns 45 September 11th, mm -hmm. 2022. Nice. Um, so we'll be playing games up to that date. That'll be the last day mm. we'll be playing games um in after dark for that event mm -hmm. so we'll be celebrating that day mm -hmm. uh so hopefully we're not doing anything else on september <laughs> yeah. hopefully not yeah. <laughs> uh those are the big ones there's other schedule things but we will come to them as they appear so thank you mm -hmm. for tuning in 
Uh, tonight, for these awesome exclusive world premieres, I love doing these. They're really fun and exciting. Um, so if you like those games, buy and download them and play them and enjoy them. Uh, thanks for hanging out, S. Ramirez, Arena Foot, Vitoko, RC70, Dan ABC, Mike Soul. Uh, Charles Whelan. Charles Whelan. Of VH said C. VH said C. Thank you for joining. Awesome, awesome game. Wonderful game. Uh, Ivory Tower Collections. Carl G. Charles Whelan. I think you said that. Um, Mike Soul. Phaser Cat Games. Scrolling Neo Media. Yeah. Metalunar 7 in there. Scrolling, 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 scrolling. Nostalgic 26. I know there's more. I know. I, uh... Leo Santi, thank you also so yes. much for letting us premiere game on the show. Wonderful, yeah. Awesome. Possibly the only homebrew beat em up out there. And it's a yeah. good one. Very, really very Really cool. Good. The skateboarders. I wanted to see the biker so bad. Oh, I know. <laughs> the guy's throwing knives, which is reminiscent of the first ever beat em up, which was um um kung fu oh yeah yeah uh, kung fu okay. kung fu what is it called damn it the one you scroll on mm -hmm. on the different levels um let's see who else was in the chat hanging out chatting away oh la corji corjita yeah coryuhita corujita. yes la corujita I think you pronounce it much better than I, I did don't the think, first time. I don't know. Yeah, anyway. Kung Fu, Kung Fu Master. Master yes. There it is. Yes. So the guys with the knives yes. are straight out of Kung Fu Master, which is an awesome uh, throwback tribute to that. If it was. A lot of knife throwing now. Uh, I think we're the, yeah, I think, I, think, caught, I think we've caught everyone. Lots oh of people God. chatting. Thank oh you for God. joining us, by the way, on your first reset. Your... Why is the scrolling so Oh, it, it keeps it reset? resetting itself, yeah. Oh, that's why. I'm like, like, oh my God. It keeps seeing the same names going over oh. and over again. VHZC is creating the Atari Age thread for his game right now. So Excellent. Uzi Excellent. the Goo, Maze Quest, check for it in the Atari 2600 mm -hmm. area of the forums. Uh, that's it. So everybody, uh, it's Friday. So enjoy your weekend if you can, if you don't work on the weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll be back. On Tuesday. On Tuesday. With some more awesome homebrew. Excellent. So we'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.